Hey everyone, I'm gonna be talking about an article that came up today and some thoughts about it. It's something that's been a hot topic on this channel, many channels of course, but this channel especially. And Yahoo Finance did an article today and it says, the American guitar industry is making a serious comeback. Now that's only interesting because it wasn't quite a year ago that the Washington Post did the, uh, the electric guitar is dying article. And so this new article basically talks about things that we already know. If you've seen Tyler Larson, the Tone King, Cheddar Kung Pao and me were at the PRS event this year and PRS was definitely saying this is their record year. Uh, they did $50 million in sales uh, up, uh, up from the previous year of 48 million. So they're, they're increasing sales, they're, in, they're growing. And that was very evident in the factory. Kiesel Guitars is growing. That's very evident in the factory uh, with 800 guitars being produced at, at current moment, it looks like uh, is very impressive. Uh, Gibson Guitars is filing bankruptcy. That's mentioned in here, but it's of course mentioned what we already knew, which is that of the divisions of Gibson, the highest performing division was the guitar side. So it was the electronics division hurting the most. And it was those choices to actually kind of get out of the guitar uh, side of the business. It's hurt Gibson and why Henry's uh, got to step down and they're looking for a new CEO. But, um, and I've heard that Sir Guitars is up, Tom Anderson Guitars are up. There is definitely increases in sales in electric guitars. And this is important because sometimes numbers are manipulated by including acoustic guitars uh, and saying, hey, guitars are up as a whole, but they might say string instrument sales, which would include ukuleles and acoustics. And ukuleles have been a strong category for many years. And if you add those into the string instrument category, that always shows it's up. However, this article is speaking specifically to the electric guitar. So the question is, what contributes to this growth? Why all of a sudden a year ago was the industry gonna die and now it's, uh, it's resurgence and saved by all these numbers? Well, one thing I'd like to point out is that I think, and it deserves some credit, that the death of the guitar article from the Washington Post actually helped. I think sometimes when an industry becomes complacent, in other words, when you assume things are always gonna be, right? The local restaurant down the street's always gonna be there. So I think I'll just hit the, the Applebee's or the fast casual and, and then uh, you know go back there later. And then you go and they're gone and you're like, I don't know what happened. Well, it's because sometimes you get complacent and you take things for granted. And I think this industry took guitar sales for granted. I think us as players took it for granted. Hey, there'll always be a Fender, there'll always be a Gibson, a, you know, there'll always be an Ibanez. And the reality was that a lot of these companies were hurting and it wasn't just the recession that is in play. But another big part, I think, is part of the article is, uh, if you don't know this, I was actually quoted, I was actually interviewed as part of the death of the electric guitar article. You can read that by clicking the link down below. I did a very controversial video called, Is Taylor Swift the Next Eddie Van Halen? And boy, did I receive a lot of grief from it. Um, now keep in mind, even though I received a mass amounts of grief, uh, I was ridiculed by many channels uh, and made fun of, which I've all commented on those channels, hey, you know what? You can't make fun of yourself. You're never gonna get, you know, you're never gonna get past anything. The point being, not that of course, Taylor Swift is as good as Eddie Van Halen or in the same, any kind of league or even connected anyway. The point was, who's inspiring young musicians to play guitar? Well, this article talks about the fact that a lot of the manufacturers saying there's millennials back in the market. But what they don't really explain in the article, which is definitely a fact, is that a lot of those millennials are females. And that's what I was saying in the Washington Post article, was that females are a big, strong contender for the market. They're coming to the market. And I think another thing that's happened since that article, and since not just the article of the Washington Post, but since the Taylor Swift with video and subsequent videos, which, cause by the way, Guitar World, I want to thank Guitar World again. They did a who will save guitar uh, on the article and they based that article off of that video and even included my quotes in that article. They said that obviously interviewing Fender, which I already had done uh, and companies like them, those companies were stating, hey, yes, we are seeing a large amount of females in the market. And I think what's happened recently is something unique. It's not that women are pl playing guitar more than ever, which is true. It's that now it's more like they're invited to the party. I think what you're gonna see is not just the, the millennials uh, taking up the guitar, which is mostly gonna be female, but still a big portion of that. You're gonna see the Gen Xers now have a resurgence of excitement because of the fact that they said, hey, what do you mean guitar's dead? It's not dead, I, I love guitar. And what's interesting about all this is I don't think anyone was ever thinking that the guitar was gonna actually die. I think the concern was is that the industry would not be able to sustain itself the size it's at. And unfortunately, here's something that's interesting about this article that's probably important to mention.
you have a shift. There's a market shift. And I want to just give this kind of insight uh, to the article because I think the article missed this. What you're seeing is, is a lot of players buying more guitars because of the death of the amps now. And uh, you know, you could sit there and say that maybe this is gonna be a negative take on this. It's not a negative take, it's just important to understand. Axe FX, Kemper, Helix, uh, Headrush, units like that, uh, amplitude softwares, you know, right? Direct recording interfaces. Those things are taking up some of the amp sales. And uh, smaller amps, really inexpensive amps like the Katanas and the, you know, the PV Vipers and the Marshall Codes and you know Mustangs by Fender. Those amps uh, literally are taking up players. And the idea that they got this amp, and usually when you buy a small amp, you would feel the need to upgrade to a better amp or a bigger amp. Uh, and one of those things that happened was the bigger amp was definitely because you were going to be in a band now, which is not what you're going to see a lot of Generation Xers doing because they're playing from home or they're playing small venues or churches. But what you're going to really see is that they're like, okay, I'm really okay with this. I'm okay with the unit I have now, or they have a small platform amp and they're happy with it. So amp sales are definitely down. So guitar, and I think what happens is, is you have a lot of players like myself and we're not buying as many amps. And because we're not buying as many amps, we take that money and shift it over the guitar. So I think guitars are kind of living the breath of that. Plus, I think you had pedal sales at all time highs and definitely pedal sales are not doing well as well. Um, and you're noticing that as well. So I think what you're gonna see is again, a lot of money that was taken away from guitar, moved over to pedals and amps, especially pedals. And then now you're gonna see it flux back the other way. And it's important because you gotta understand, Yahoo Finance doesn't know uh, our industry like we do. You know what I mean? They're not in it, you know, playing in it every day. So they may not see all those things. They could just look at it just like the guitar article from last year with the New York Times. They're gonna look at the sales of the guitars and go, okay, they're down. And nothing was mentioned that when guitar sales were down that pedal sales were like at all time highs. So pedal sales now I think are declining and I see that money going over to guitar. I see it all the time with you guys. I have went to events and I've talked to you personally. So, and I talk to you guys every day via email. And if I was gonna say there's a general consensus, it's like, hey, instead of buying four to six pedals for a thousand dollars added up, uh, why not just buy a nice thousand dollar guitar? That's what I'm seeing again. Hey, how about a, you know getting another beautiful guitar instead of a bunch of boxes? And I see that, uh, so I think that's gonna be a huge trend in the guitar sales up. So in the millennials, I think you're gonna see an influx of the females like you have been, which is fantastic. Uh, in the Gen Xers, I think what you're seeing is us switching from the pedals over to guitar. With all that being said, I'm really interested in what your thoughts are. Please let me know what you think about the article, what you think about the guitar industry and growth versus decline. Uh, do you feel that this article was right? Do you feel that the last article was right. And as always, I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. And until the next time, know your gear.